it's a Monday and it's time for a grocery wool. For you it's a Monday, for me it's a Thursday. Yes, I'm still working at the strawberry farm. I know I'm on borrow time because strawberry season is usually only in the, I think, springtime. And we're in summer. It's July 16th today. So, I know. But I think I'm going to be working the end of July or maybe at least a week about one or two weeks more, and I think then that's done. So um, I'm doing my groceries on a Thursday. Thursdays are always big for me because I just got do, done working um, three or four days straight at the strawberry farm, uh, like 12 hour shifts. And then Thursday I wake up really early and I do uh, my laundry delivery service. So I just got done doing lots of laundry. I pick up the mail, I went to the bank, I went to my grocery shopping, and I'm gonna film it and then edit and upload and then I get to clean the house and take a shower and uh, get all ready and then I'm going to have my live chat uh, with me and Tanya Danielle. I think, I don't know if Tanya Danielle is coming yet. Uh, you'll probably already know what happened with that, but I'm not sure, but I didn't want to cancel because I promoted it and everyone set, I know how things are when you get set on something and you set your whole schedule around something like even for me, if something canceled and I set my whole week and I work really hard to make sure that slot, you know, that I could get to that slot and, and make sure I feel that slot working and then all of a sudden if it doesn't happen, it's a letdown for me too um, because um, I worked really hard for it and I look forward to it. And same with you guys. I'm sure like, you know, who knows? I'm not saying I'm all important or something like that, but I understand if I was looking forward to a live uh, chat and I know sometimes you've got we chat for like hours and you you just you you work around your schedule and you really look forward to it um, and then all of a sudden it doesn't happen like especially last minute especially last minute I could see if you postpone things like if I, this chat was happening next week and I'm like oh we're gonna wait another week so that's different but if it's uh, less than 24 hours the show must go on. So, I'm going to do the live chat. I might do it solo. I might do it with Tanya. I don't know. But, but you'll, you'll already see. So, you already know. <laughs> You're in the future. <laughs> I'm in the past. <laughs> All right. I think today's magic number is $67. I don't remember. We'll probably see it in the title. But, let me show you what I got. Uh, first of all, I got some more eggs. I don't really eat eggs. I'm vegetarian, which I could eat eggs, but I, I really don't because uh, I still feel guilty about it. But my friend Larry comes over and he eats eggs and I have hash browns and eggs for him so he so I make sure there's always eggs stocked up for him. Um I haven't been drinking that much champagne, so I've only been buying like one bottle a week. Um just to have stuff on hand in case. But sometimes I do. It's it's getting a little bit sugary. I'm looking for sugar free wine and champagne. It's probably out there, it's just that it doesn't say it. Uh, I'll show you something else I bought that advertises the sugar-free, but it doesn't say it on the label, so I'm confused. But I got some root champagne, and this is definitely not sugar-free, but I, I, I tried it one time. It was really refreshing, and I put a lot of ice in it to dilute the sweetness, but I can only find it at this one liquor store um, that's by where I do lawn, uh, laundry. And this is like a watermelon sangria. And it's pretty good. It's a little sweet. I mean, it's like, you know, but because it's fruity and wine, fruit and wine. Wine already has sugar, and the fruit has a lot of sugar. But, like I said, if you put it, like, dilute it with a lot of ice, it is pretty good. So I got more of that. Oh, and this is the wine I got at the liquor store. Uh, this is, like, a separate item that I got. just like, $4 a can. It's kind of expensive. But it's called Bev. And I don't really like rosé or white wine, but I want to try it because it's sugar-free. That's what it advertises. Like when you go on uh, social media, and if you're on Instagram, it's one of those sponsored ads. And if you go on Facebook, it's a sponsored ad. I see it a lot on, on online as a sponsored ad. And it says sugar-free. But nowhere on this can does it say sugar-free. So I'm a little like I'm confused. So, um, but it's the same can they advertise, um, and it looks exactly the same. So I will test it eventually and see. Uh, and then I got this one too. I don't. 
think this is sugar free, but this does look interesting. It says red with bubbles. So it's like a red. It's a, sorry if it's loud, it's the beach. Um, and it's a sunny day, so everyone's going to the beach, even though it's it's um it's early in the morning still. But I never seen a red sparkling cold one before. So that looked interesting. So I, I, I'm pretty sure this is not sugar free. But I just want to try it. I was at the living store waiting for my laundry to get done. And so, oh, by the way, I'm wearing a shirt. I should cut this more. It's a little not cut enough because I kind of want it to go down like this. But it's a little tight, but I didn't want to ruin it because this shirt, I think, came from London. And it took a long time to get. Um, if you don't know who Jarvis is, <laughs> I have a cardboard cutout of him. And um, he is um, the lead singer of the band Pulp. P-U-L-P. -P. And I know they've been around forever, but I'm, I'm, I'm late to the party, but I'm obsessed with Pulp. I love every single song they ever do, and I love Jarvis. I think he's amazing. So this this shirt, and I just have the cut-up Daisy, you know, Daisy Dukes. It kind of just, I might change it, though, because I think it needs to be cut a little bit more. Yikes! Someone getting hurt? <laughs> okay. I might as well show you this, too, real quick. I got the cat litter. I really, I got cat litter. Usually I get it online, but I'm thinking, I gotta pick it up, and I'm thinking, oh, I don't want to carry it. Well, when I buy it online, I have to carry it anyway up the stairs, so what the hell. Grabbed it. Okay, you know my new obsession, I hate water, but I could drink tap water only if I put Crystal Light in it. I know they have other flavors, but Vons, they only have a few flavors, so I got the Fruit Punch, Crystal Light. Uh, and also, I have so many of these in the cupboard, but I don't think I have strawberry, even though we're at Strawberry Farm, so I thought, but these are for single bottle use, and I don't do single bottle, so i got to figure out how many of these to make into a big pitcher, so I got some strawberry, uh, that way I can drink water, and I, I just need some of this, I don't really carry sliced cheese, but sometimes it makes sense when I make a veggie burger, or making a sandwich, and I don't really want to use the shredded cheese or the good cheese, so this is just normal, sharp, pasture-raised, like shredded cheese. Just your normal, cut. not really American, but kind of, just for stuff like that. I've been eating lots of salads at work, like, because instead of, like, chips and stuff, I've been trying to, I bring a little bit of chips, but I try to eat the salad first. That way, because I force myself to eat, like, healthy. And because if there's nothing else to eat and I'm hungry, I'm, I'm going to eat the salad. And after I eat it, it's good. I like it. So I've been buying, like, little bag lettuce for that. I think I have another one in there somewhere. And, of course, I always grab, even though I have some, but for the birds, because sometimes it does spoil. And so I want to make sure I have enough of the broccoli slaw for my birdies. So every morning, yes, yes. Oh, I almost said Miss Josephine. I Rest in peace, bird. But, um, yes, Sunny and Sarah, I got you more broccoli. And then here's my other, because it was like two for $5. So I got two of those. And I eat those. I found it, like I said, I put it in a wrap. I make a big old burrito, like a veggie burrito. And I put lettuce in there. Um, and, which weird, I had, I made quesadillas, like, uh, tortillas with cheese. And I put, like, um, oh, God, the fourth horseman. It's a restaurant around here, and they make this homemade salsa. So good, not salsa, but hot sauce. And you can get it at the Fourth of Horseman only. And I think I got another bottle in there, a tiny bottle. But this is habanero and pineapple. Habanero and pineapple. This is so good. It's so good, but it's so hot. But I was craving like something like that, so I got tortilla and I put some cheese and then I put some of that. And then I crumbled up watermelon, and I zapped it in the microwave, and it was good. It was just a weird concoction. Um, so my thing is watermelon now, even though I, I work strawberry, I have tons of strawberries. But my thing is watermelon, and I feel like a little sweet, but I don't really like like sweets too much. I'm not really into sweets. I've been also take I've been putting these in the jar, and it'll take me a long time to go through it. Because literally I'll take one, put it in my mouth, and let it dissolve. And then I'll maybe take two or three, but I, I rarely eat like a bunch. So I got almond and peanut, and so I'm going to put them in the jar. And then whenever I want some dessert, I just grab a couple of that, and that's good for me. So that's my new thing. It used to be an old thing, but now it's new again. And this was a spur of the moment, guys. 
Because one time I had these, and I didn't think I would like them, and I do like them. They're just um, pretzel, peanut butter pretzels. Uh, pretzels with peanut butter, like, filled inside. So that's another sweetness. Oh, another thing <laughs> I got. Make a little Ulta. Ulta? Ultra. Okay. I've been trying to see, like, because, you know, I like Jack and Cokes. I like making drinks, but I don't want to actually in my go-to. Like, usually, when I get home from work, I usually have, like, a red wine. And then on the weekends, I have mimos mimos my mimosa. That's usually the go-to. But I'm kind of getting over that routine, you know? And so I've been trying different drinks. And, yeah, I like Jack and Cokes. I like, I like, like, my alcohol. I like, I like, um, you know, I like having mixed drinks. But I don't want that to be a go-to. I don't want to get a whiskey Coke, you know, and be like, that's this once in a while drink I want. So I'm trying to think, like, you know, I miss beer because when I used to work at a brewery, I liked the hops and the barley because it really helped my stomach because I get bloaty stomach really easy. I'm sure a lot of people do, but mine is from allergies. I developed histamine in my belly, and it gets – it's a long story. But beer kind of actually calms it down because it has the hops and the barley, and it has bitters. Like, I even I even have bitters. Sometimes I'll put it, I'll put it in soda water just to uh, calm my stomach. But beer actually helps my stomach. It really does. And so I miss having like a good beer. Like I I, I was kind of spoiled. I would always have, because that was fresh made, it was a brewery, it was fresh made beer. And it was really good. Um, but I've been trying to look for a beer, you know. Plus I don't really buy beer because we don't have room in the refrigerator at all. But my roommate right now is with his girlfriend. They're in Vegas for a week. So I have room in the refrigerator, yay! So I'm like, okay, so I tried some beer, and actually I tried this, because I didn't think I would like a light beer, because um, I usually don't. Uh, but this is actually really good. It's Michelob Ultra, Ultra, and it's like 85 calories, and it's like two carbs. And I was thinking, yeah, but it probably doesn't pack a powerful punch. Like, I don't even know what the ABV is, like the uh, alcohol content in it. It's probably pretty light, but that's okay. Um, so I tried that after work yesterday. I, I had a couple beers, and I put it in the freezer so they're really cold. I put it in a, a frozen glass, and it was really good, refreshing, you know, and not sweet because I'm getting over the sugar. The sugar, like especially during summer drinks, there's so much sugar and stuff. And I'm not really into white claw because it tastes too much like water. Like I told you, I do not like water. <laughs> Uh, which is probably why there's some beer I don't like. Um, but I don't want to drink something too strong all through the day. Like, you know, like during the beach day, I mean, you're drinking all day. And you don't want something strong. Like that, like 4th of July when I was drinking whiskey and coke all day. That is not an all-day drink. That is just not an all-day drink. So you're going to be social. You drink, have a couple of beers. And then later on, you have a couple. Like, you know, you're like little here, little here, them. And then also, not even for the alcohol, but... The sugar, you don't want all that sugar in your belly. That's just, ugh, like you feel really gross because partly of the sugar. So, no, long story long, <laughs> um, I like it. So, I'm just probably not going to put it in the refrigerator right now because I have some. I, I went to the store after work, and I, I got it, and I'm like, you know what? It's really good. So, that is my new thing for now is the beer, uh, and it slows my roll. Because um, Jack and Coke or anything like that, even champagne is like 15% alcohol. You can't drink champagne all day. The sugar and and the, it just gets you bloated, and and the alcohol content. And so this is a good go-to. So this is my new thing. The only thing is I just don't ever have enough room in the refrigerator. I have to pre-plan and put a few in the freezer, and then uh, later on. If, all right, well, that's my grocery haul, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to put all this stuff away and probably change my shirt because now it's getting a little warmer, and I probably want to put a tank top, and I still got the cleaning in. i got to put away the laundry. i got to put away my laundry because I did my laundry as well, and i got to text my clients and tell them that their laundry is ready and go deliver it and all that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> all right, to all my stays cadets and all my briquettes, I hope you have a great day. Until next time, peace.